Hey everybody, and welcome back to Machinarium. Um, in this episode, we are going to hopefully <laughs> get past uh, the exterior of the prison um, so that we're not caught again. <clears throat> but first, uh, what we need to do is push these uh, crates, barrels, I don't know what they are technically. Um, they're metallic. They're metallic crates. Metal crates? I don't know. But they roll, and that makes it convenient to push over here. Um, I'm going to talk to her, uh, just so you guys know what we're looking for here. He wants the umbrella so he can walk under this, but she wants her little robot dog, which you saw, I guess, over to the right of the area that we were just, just before, rolling these in here. <clears throat> um, so what we want to do is in order to solve this puzzle um, we're going to want to move all of the down arrows to the bottom and all of the up arrows to the top so this might take a couple tries if it does I apologize um, but I'm just gonna do the best I can in this situation oh my goodness let's see I think so far so good. I hope so anyway. Because you don't want to get too... Too crazy and I think I just messed up. Let me redo. <clears throat> like I said, it might take a couple tries. Because I'm, I'm kind of a dummy when it comes to these things. That's never good. But, you know, it happens. <clears throat> so let's see. I just don't want to mess this up so much that I just lose all credibility as a human being. Okay, I think there we go. Nice. Um, I'm not gonna press the red button. Oh my gosh, I almost did it, and that would have reset everything. And I would have been so upset with myself. I mean, it's not like that's a hard puzzle, but I just don't like having to do things over again. I don't like having to repeat myself. So now that that crate or whatever is gone, um, we can push this one back. Slowly, but surely. Our little robot friend is only as strong as uh, he is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how strong that is, but... <clears throat> Alright, so now we get to jump on top of this thing here. He can extend himself so he can grab onto this ladder. And as you can see over here, this is where the dog is. Um, what we want to do is we want to kind of position this so that the... We're going to control the buoy here at this point. What we want to do is we want to position it so that it goes here, kind of forward and to the right a little bit. All right. In order to do that, of course, press play. And this is also another little puzzle that requires a bit of speed. So hopefully I'll be able to do this. You want to make two drops and you want to get him down as fast as possible and this may take a couple of tries hopefully not oh good okay it took one try great so um the little pop gun that you made in the prison is going to be used here to capture the dog and bring him back to his owner so that we can take her umbrella. And she will take our pop gun, and we will no longer need it, so it's okay. <clears throat> as long as we can make it through this little this little uh, leak here without short circuiting, that's great.
And of course, there goes our umbrella. We do not need that anymore either. And it's funny, I have a key. Um... I haven't gotten rid of that yet. I'm not sure if I need it again, but we'll see if I do. Alright, so in the next episode, uh, we are going to uh, accomplish all of the tasks here in what is uh, officially called Low Town. Um, it's just kind of like a back alley, and look at him, he's having his little thoughts of his girlfriend. I think it's going to be another long-winded one, because I want to show all of the, uh, things that you could do in Lowtown. Um, so, hopefully you guys are prepared for that, hopefully I'm prepared for that, and I'll see y'all then. <laughs> Thanks for watching.